we were concerned that maybe we had made the wrong decision, but we stuck with it. And I think that's a, a big part of, of growing a business, right? Is sticking with your gut instinct about, are you on the right track? All right, Kyle, very excited to speak with you. I know we've been talking about uh, playing a bigger game. Yours was actually very, very interesting. I think yours goes back to I think, 2006. When it was announced that Google was gonna buy YouTube, I had this, this really kind of epiphany that, okay, well, we're well positioned with the internet, but what happens if the internet becomes TV and TV becomes the internet? And so I was like, well, what if I'm really well positioned in the internet, but I've got no TV presence? And these things converge and we lose out in the battle. We spent about a million dollars uh, going the wrong direction before any of that money started coming back to us. The growth that ensued because of that was a big change for us. Do you believe that it, 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 at some point you really do need to push the chips in and make that large investment? Or could you guys have made, let's say, an investment a quarter of that size and kind of like tapered it up and so on? Like maybe it would have just taken longer? Or do you think it just wouldn't have worked, period? I think first it's like, what is it that you want? I think it is a little bit of be careful what you ask for or you may get it, right? But if you're dreaming big and you want to be big and you want to do that, then I think at some point you have to kind of take that big risk.